Welcome back, Mark. We've discussed NFS and the use of NFS in the Tintry unit. We've talked about Faber Channel and iSCSI and NFS and the comparisons between them. But a lot of people still believe that Faber Channel is the more, more performant uh, network infrastructure for connecting storage. What are your thoughts? I think uh, that's a somewhat outdated viewpoint now. I think uh, if you look at the evolution of Fibre Channel from 1 gig to 2 gig to 4 gig to 8 gig, yes, it's perceived as being fast. Um, but the reality is, uh, if you're taking uh, IOs from your VMs over 10 gigabit Ethernet infrastructure directly to SSD, then it's going to be every bit as fast as a Fibre Channel infrastructure is. Uh, and we have the added benefit, obviously, of we can bond uh, interfaces together now using LACP. So if you need more throughput, um, then obviously that's a great way to go. But we shouldn't overlook the fact that 1 gig Ethernet is still capable of sustaining around 25,000 IOPS under an average workload. So it's still pretty quick. Well, with Zoom, LACP also has added advantages of uh, resilience as well. Yeah, um, we've always had resilience because we've always had multiple interfaces on the Tintry appliance, uh, which typically ran in active standby. So having LACP just gives us the added advantage of being able to run those as active-active, giving us twice the bandwidth essentially into the unit itself. Okay. And from the network engineer's perspective, having one single set of architecture to, to manage and, 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 uh, and operate makes things a little bit easier as well, rather than having fibre channel for storage and either 1 or 10 gig for access. Indeed, I think the, the cost savings to the business are, are probably more prevalent there because you're no longer needing to maintain a back-end storage area network running over fibre channel. You can run everything over your uh, Ethernet IP estate. From the networking guy's perspective, it's obviously something they know and understand, Ethernet IP. Um, the difference now is we're just wrapping up uh, data inside those, uh, those Ethernet uh, frames. And the other thing that, that you know, we should embrace is the fact that most companies are, have embarked upon virtualization. Well, that extends to the networking infrastructure as well. So I would always advocate creating a dual fabric architecture for the storage, but why not run that as VLANs, isolated VLANs over the existing uh, Ethernet environment? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.